Well, we've had some pretty bad weather out here today. Had some like monsoon type rain last night. Probably dumped us two, two inches of water within a period of maybe 25 minutes. So what we're gonna do today is do a little shop maintenance. The drill rig tires on the front are very, very important. They don't look bad. If you look at them, they've got plenty of depth. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and turn the light on. See how much depth they got? They got real, you can see the wear bar. It's nowhere near the wear bar. But right here, it wears funny on this track and it wears funny on this track. You can kind of see right there and right there. But these tires are seven years old, but they probably only have, you know, 30,000 miles on them, if that. <clears throat> but the age of the rubber is what makes me worry. And I know that if bad situations were to arise and a front tire blows out, on a truck like this it becomes uh very critical very fast and detrimental to uh the main money maker of the of the company so what we've got here we've got some big old monster tires that are practically half the size of me 3 1580s 3 1580s these things are gigantic they are super wide so we're going to be working today on replacing these big bad boys had to fire up the rig and get the front jack pad down. That way we get the, the tires off the ground just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and zip these things off. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you definitely have some imperfections in it. I felt like it was time. I felt like it was time. Thank you. 
Definitely not. Definitely not. These tires are actually a whole lot easier to replace than the traditional 22.5s that are on the back. I guess, you know, the sidewall height of these it's, and the width, are, they're a lot more flexible. Granted, they are heavier, but these right here are bare to change, you know, by hand. But they're nothing compared to these things right here, the 19.5s. These are what we run on our uh, 5500s. Look what happened to that bad boy. All that tread left thing delaminated crazy we did a brake update on the truck a couple years ago hmm had brand new drums brand new shoes fun stuff never really filmed any of that A lot of times when you're filling it up like that, you just don't want to be around it because of how bad it could be if it actually blew up. So one thing that I will do, I'll show you, this is kind of a jack leg way of doing it. You come over here to the compressor and it'll only fill up your tire what you have your thing set at, right? So you just kick your compressor off and then you can figure out how much pressure you're putting in it by how much is here. So basically it says it's at 120 right now and the tire is probably at 50. So as this empties, the tire is going to fill and eventually it'll balance itself out. Probably at around 100. But I'm going to I'm going to go over here and check it just here in a second. See what it's at now. It's been exactly 1 minute. It's for some reason this valve stem is a lot slower to fill up than the other one. <laughs> yeah, 40, it's only a 42 PSI. After 60 seconds, it's only went up 10 PSI. Yep. So these tires call for 130 PSI, but I'm gonna put them at 120. It gives it a little bit more leeway when it gets hot outside to uh, have a little bit of pressure expansion because I know once things get hot the pressures climb 130 is quite a lot in a tire to be completely honest so I'm gonna set it at 120 and then I'll come back into it in an hour and just make sure that it's still at 120 because I've got a little bit of goop a little bit seeping out there a little bit more there a little bit more over there so it's just pushing it out up some heavy areas right now she's pretty much at about buck 20. i'll go ahead and fill the other side all right all right got the front jack pad all the way up tires on the ground each tire is aired up to 120 psi 
I'm going to check them again tomorrow morning, and then I'll check them again once we get to the job site. Um, we're we're going to bring us a, a big, uh, like a breaker bar with us, and after we drive it 15 miles, we check the lug nuts again to make sure the lug nuts are still tight. It's just something that we always do with this truck. I got to prevent every accident in any way possible. Looks good. Well, that was a trick. We got some guy showing up here. He's got a uh, older Mack truck that these tires will fit on. They're still in pretty decent shape. His truck's probably 50 years old. I ain't no telling how old his front tires are, but we're going to go ahead and give him this set here for free. So, see y'all later. Peace.